we are solving problems that are crying out to be solved that only augmented reality can solve. So in doing so, we found a really nice place for augmented reality to play. The problem we set out to solve was there, there was a training crisis in, in US and allied militaries around the world because we can't get enough training at scale against relevant threats as much as we want. It's really expensive, we don't have the pilots, we don't have the airplanes, and it's very difficult to, to simulate modern threats. The question I asked myself was, could I bring the best of simulation and drag it outdoors? So to do that, I'd have to create digital content up in the sky. Hence the focus on augmented reality in the field of view of the pilot's uh, visor that we're, we're developing. The optical system we have inside of the latest generation of helmets now is, is something to behold. We're really pushing the boundaries of what augmented reality can do, particularly augmented reality outside, so that some of the technical breakthroughs we've made are, are immense. And when you go up there, the sense of realism, scale, brightness, resolution, outdoors in dynamic environments in bright sunlight is massive. It's a really significant thing, not just for what we're doing with this use case. So AR in the synthetic world is intimately tied to AI and it's intimately tied to the future of collaborative combat aircraft. When you combine the power of AI with the power of augmented reality, now you are capable of creating synthetic worlds that are living, breathing digital worlds that will think and fly and act for themselves. And, and so it's, it's not beyond the stretch of imagination now to envision a future where we go out and train and we get the benefits of flying our airplanes for real, which is really, really important. But now we don't have the cost and scale and frequency problems and relevancy problems associated with providing adversaries with physical assets. Now we can do that synthetically. And if we have the intelligence on threat platforms, for example, then if you combine the AR augmented reality with artificial intelligence, now you can put really representative training together at scale outdoors in dynamic environments, which is which is a transformational um, value proposition for the Air Force and how we think about training. Boeing have been incredibly impressive in, in their willingness and ability to A, recognize the technology that Red 6 has, B, move aggressively to, to take it and, and adopt it and bring it into the, the company, and then C, look into the future and fundamentally answer the question, what does this mean for the warfighter? If we have an advanced jet trainer like the T-7, in conjunction with augmented reality and ATARs, then we have a value proposition that's absolutely transformative to how we think about tackling the problems of production, absorption, and experiencing our pilots on the front line.